The 50th Street rail crossing project is one step closer to making commuting easier in Edmonton's east side, thanks to a nearly $31 million investment from the feds. About 35,000 vehicles cross these train tracks every single day, but drivers face repeated delays, a total that often amounts to more than five hours each day. It might only be four trains a day that come in or five trains, but because the yards here, that's what blocks the traffic over and over again, where they shunt and they build the trains. Ottawa will kick in an additional $30 million because inflation has pushed the cost of the overpass so much higher. The goal of the project is to improve safety and reduce congestion and travel times in Edmonton. The 50th Street overpass will also see more lanes, six versus the current four, and means the mayor will never be stuck behind the train on his commute to City Hall again. It's many times that I've been stuck by, uh, uh, by the train crossing and uh, it'd be so unpredictable. You might be there for five minutes, you might be there 15 minutes, or you might be there 45 minutes. The 50th Street overpass will end up costing about $180 million after inflation increased the cost. The city of Edmonton allocated an additional $34 million to make up for the difference. But the new funding from Ottawa will allow the city to use the money elsewhere. With this infusion from the uh, Canadian government, um, it allows us to assess whether we reduce the debt that the city currently has or reallocate uh, the value that's being provided today to other projects. The overpass is on time for completion, unlike the trouble-plagued Valley Line LRT, and will open to traffic in 2026. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.